What is going on guys, Castle Gamer here and welcome to patch 228 that has just been released. This thing, it just looks amazing already. If you just look at the main menu screen, it's all been made Christmassy. I love this logo, it's so brilliant. you got the candles on top of it, the icicles hanging down from the horns. And it's just brilliant. I'm just going to jump into um, a single player world because I currently don't have any servers to play. And we're going to check out what they've actually done to the game, what features and stuff they've added. I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. Alright guys, I just loaded into the world and look at it. <laughs> the entire place is covered in snow. It is brilliant. This is exactly what I wanted. This is ex exactly what I predicted would happen in the Winter Wonderland update. <clears throat> it is brilliant. I'm absolutely loving this right now. Just the snow everywhere, it really does bring that Christmas feel into the game. One downside though I wish they would have done is put some ice in the rivers and the lakes on the water. That would have been pretty cool. But if you do notice, the bottom left, I'm always freezing, which does make sense. But for those of you who don't have fear armor, then you know, it's a bit unfortunate for you really. I don't have any on me at the moment, but for those of you who do, you're kind of lucky. Because if you don't have any fear armor, you're going to be freezing everywhere you go. And you're going to have to sit by a campfire for the next few days just to stay alive. I think they have added some new Christmas items as well. So I'm going to go back to my little setup down here and quickly have a little look to see what new stuff they've added. It looks like they have added new items, which is really exciting actually. They've got a whole bunch of new Christmas items here. You've got the Dino Santa hat and the Santa hat skin for your player. You get the holiday Christmas tree snowman. You get a skin for your reindeers and deers. You get holiday lights, holiday stockings, wreaths and gift boxes which you can put items in. Um, it does, the recipes do say it requires mistletoe, um, I don't know how you're supposed to get that, I'm assuming, yeah, I'm assuming that spawns naturally in the world, so I'm going to have to fly around for a little bit with my turret on you, and I'll be right back with you guys. Alright guys, so apparently you have to get mistletoe, um, apparently it's a rare item, and you can only get it in the drops that are dropped by raptor claws. Now I've just found this like little thing in the air, this little Christmassy type thing. Uh, I don't know if it doesn't really do anything. I'm not sure if this is meant to symbolize raptor claws coming into the world or something, but there's like some little Christmassy type effect there. It's like Santa sleigh type effect. At the moment it's not doing anything, but I'm going to keep looking around, keep checking all the drops until I can find some mistletoe to craft these new items for you guys. Alright guys, so <laughs> Raptor Claws has arrived and you can see him in the sky right here. It's, this is pretty messed up. It's quite funny at the same time. But there's Christmas music now playing. I'm going to go up here and check it out. <laughs> and this is brilliant. Look at this. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant uh, apparently it drops beacons like these i think these are them these presents here do i supply crate oh, okay so i have to wait for these to land and they drop the christmas items which is pretty cool i love this little thing that they've done it's brilliant good job on doing this to the devs this is really really great <laughs> oh yeah they never fail to surprise people I'll give them that. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. So we're gonna wait for this um, little present to drop now to see what stuff it contains. It's gonna be pretty cool. All right, guys, the presents finally landed. Let's quickly check out what's inside. Oh, he makes a little Christmas noise as well. This is so cool. Okay, so there's five mistletoe in there. I thought there would be more items, but obviously they contain the mistletoe for the new items you craft and the stupid things are attacking my bird. Stop it now! Right. Stupid animal. <laughs> right, so, where's the Santa gun? Oh, look, he's dropped. He's dropped quite a few, actually. 
So I'm going to go around picking one of these up because I want to get as much mistletoe as I can to craft these new items for you guys. Oh, ramshackle metal shield. So it doesn't just drop uh, mistletoe by the looks of it. I think it drops good blueprints because that was a pretty decent blueprint. Normally they're crap like a water jar or something. Let's see what's inside this one. All these lovely presents. So this one has a bron Bronto saddle, so platform saddle, which isn't the best, but you know, better than nothing, I guess. Come on, where is Sun? Where's Raptor Claws gone? Oh, he's just left. <laughs> right, well, Raptor Claws has just left us, and there's still a few more presents coming down. There's one by there, there's another one over there, I think. They may be the last ones. Yes, here they are. Yeah, these are the last ones, so we're going to wait for this one to come down, and the last one there. See how much mistletoe we have all together, and see if we can craft anything. But that was a pretty cool creature. That little raptor riding the sleigh with the reindeers at the front, that was, that was pretty funny. Right, so this one has Apprentice Parasaur uh, build on saddle, which, you know, yet again isn't the best thing in the world, but better than nothing. And we got one more over here, which is going to take a little while to get down. Uh, so I think I'll sort of them. Yeah, I'll just wait for this one to come down, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, the last present is about to touch down. I'm only hoping that we have some mistletoe in here so we can craft some more of the items. Come on, be something we want. Oh! <laughs> coal. One piece of coal. And caption, have you been naughty? Now, uh, this coal actually plays a big part in this update and I'll show you why in a minute. So I've actually discovered a certain someone or something you can craft of this coal. You do, it does require a lot of coal to craft it, or summon it rather. But you'll see in a minute. It's pretty cool. All right, guys, just arrived back at my little base here, and let's see what we can craft with this five mistletoe we have. I don't think it'll be able to be able to craft a lot. Oh, we got these items here, so. Ah, oh, we need a lot more for the Christmas Santa hats, which is unfortunate, but I'm sure you guys can check that out on your own on your own servers. I don't have time to sit here and keep refreshing the world all the time to get Santa here and collect mistletoe. But I guess I could craft some of these holiday lights. I'll craft one of those. Uh, holiday stocking. Okay, so holiday stocking and a Christmas light. That's okay. Should have got the present really, but you guys will be able to see that anyway. Right. So let's see what these items do. So Christmas lights. Alright, you just attach these to a wall, I think. So if I can just find something, let's put it on this fireplace here. Oh look, you get the little Christmas lights, that is really cool. Obviously if you add a lot more of these it would look absolutely brilliant. And I think we can put a little stocking here on the fireplace. And then we can like this as well. Oh, that is brilliant, guys. Just <laughs> look how Christmassy that is already. You little Christmas lights, a little stocking right next to the fireplace. That is really good. I'm really enjoying this update. So, as I was talking to you about the coal, a certain someone has been reintroduced into the game again. And it's this little beauty here. You can actually summon. The Dodo Rex again, if you collect 100 coal. Now, no, no, no. I know the Dodo Rex is a pain in the ass to actually get with all these items, and in my opinion, like it's not really worth it considering you only get it for 15 minutes, and you can wreck a few bases in that amount of time if you're close enough to them. But it's not really worth it in my opinion. You get it for 15 minutes, and. The coal, if you only get one per drop, you're going to have to spend a lot of time just gathering it. Because you need a hundred, which is going to take <laughs> a long, long time. And I obviously don't have the time to sit there looking around in crates for 
coal all the time, considering the Santa sleigh only drops about, I think it was six, five or six of the present drops from the sky every night. I think he comes around every night, I'm not too sure. But when he does come around, it's about five or six, he drops you a few neat blueprints and some mistletoe. And what else can I craft? I can craft another satellite, may as well. Oh, another two sacks, okay. useful for issuing sweet sweet beat down so I think that the candy cane club is actually a weapon so you can actually smack people with the candy cane which is pretty cool you got yourself a little Christmas weapon there it's not exactly the most threatening in the world but you know better than nothing I would say let's put some more Christmas lights. let's just put them up here because I have nowhere else to put them oh yeah look at those Christmas lights <laughs> so Christmassy so good it's brilliant I love it <laughs> Alright guys, so that is the end of this little winter wonderland part of the video, this little update. It's been really, really cool. I really do enjoy these Christmas updates on any game, really. I love the snow and the Christmassy updates. It just brings the happiness and the joy out on people. It really does create good atmosphere. So to you guys, I wish you a happy Christmas. Hope you have a good one. And if you're going to be playing Ark over the next few days, Please do enjoy the new update, because I won't be playing it much at all, but for you who are, just just enjoy the scenery, all the snow, the Christmas fields, the new Christmas items, just enjoy everything. Hopefully there'll be no wars over Christmas, but saying that it is Ark, war never changes, there's always a war. Guys, I'm just going to be moving on to the little optimizations and bug fixes and features, I'm going to be covering them in more depth, because in my video I did one or two days ago, my last one. Uh, I didn't really cover them properly, so I'm going to be covering them for you now. Alright guys, so I'm now going to be covering the little fixes, optimization, and feature changes they've added in with patch 228 or 228. Uh, I talked about these in my last video, which was one or two days ago. Um, they've actually removed a few things from the list and put them onto a later update. They've changed a few things around and they've added a few different things as well. So I'll let you know about all these right now. So. So first up is a fixed crash that servers could get with some mod uninstallations. So if you're playing on a private server and you use mods of any kind, um, you can now uninstall mods whilst the server's still up without it crashing, which is good news. Obviously, not everybody likes having a server crash. There's a pain in the ass. You lose a lot of data and it does roll back occasionally. So that's good. Good thing to know. They've also made the server fail to start if landscape sublevel is missing. For example, due to fail content update as that could cause all creatures to fall through the world. So they've made it so servers um they've purposely made it so servers will not start if the landscape sublevel is missing. Basically the terrain due to a fail content update. So for example, if you use this update, this Christmassy update. If they updated but not properly and didn't load up the snowy world, all your dinos will just fall through the world and die and you'd lose them all, which would be a right bummer and everyone would hate that. So they've purposely stopped service launching up on that note just to keep your dinos safe and uh, stop any further work. Alright guys, so next up is the massively improved game loading speed and streaming times by reducing hitches. And they've also used a seek free packages. I will let you know what seek free packages means in just a moment. But they, they've also put a little note here saying that they've added approximately 10 gigabytes to the game installation size. So the overall game itself, once it's finished and everything, has an extra 10 gigabytes put onto it just because of this update, this one little fix that they put into the game. And that is the seek free packages little fix. So for those of you who don't really know what a seek free package is, think of it as a .zip file. It's really where they compress all the data files. Like normally with a computer, when you run a program or a game, your hard drive will have to look for the executable file, then the libraries that contain the logic functions, the data files and contain the rest, for example the GUI elements or in case of the game audio files, models and textures. This seek free package stops your hard drive, like it compresses it all into one file. So your hard drive only has to find one file to get 
every little bit of function for that game so the libraries the executable things the logic functions and the data files it'll only need to look at one file to do that currently well before this update it used to look for every single one individually and that would slow down your game making your hard drive you know scan through everything just to find each piece where now it's all compressed together like a dot zip file making the game a lot smoother a lot easier to run which that's what it means by seek repackages and has improved the game overall Next up is a rendering, streaming and CPU optimizations from console work. I've also looked this up as well, um, but from console work it doesn't, that's more for the Xbox One and PS4. I'm not sure if it's on the PS4 yet, I know for definite it's on the Xbox One, but that's all optimizations and stuff for the co uh, console versions of the game. Obviously the PC already have these, um, as the game's been out on PC for quite some time now, it's only recently been released on Xbox. So they've optimized it for the Xbox One, the rendering, streaming, and CPU optimizations, making it overall faster for the console players, which is good news for all of you yet again. Capability for mods to be overwritten or add to Ark Island maps, which enables much more dynamic map mods, in brackets, stackable too. So basically you can now load more mods into one world at once, and you can overwrite them so you can have for example a weapons mod with i know a dinos mod i don't really know what mods there are out there you can have the battleship mod i know that's a mod and loads of new items you can stack them all together because beforehand you only used to be able to have one otherwise it would crash the game all the code and everything would get messed up and the game wouldn't start properly so now you can stack them all it comes from a separate thing so you can have multiple different mods in one game which is good news yet again right guys i think i've pretty much covered everything in today's video that is patch 228 i've covered everything on the patch notes list and the new arc winter wonderland event which was pretty awesome i must admit so those of you who liked this video or helped you in any way, shape or form, don't forget to leave a like. It really, really does show your support and I really appreciate it. All likes are appreciated as well as all comments. I really do enjoy them. It's what keeps these videos going and keeps my channel up, keeps me posting as often as I can. If you're new to the channel and you wish to see more content like this, then feel free to subscribe. And guys, I'll see you all in the next video. That carries them has kept me astray. Too soon to act on it. Can we ever be? That all depends on what you're feeling from me. Show your